friends, well, thank you so much for watching today's awesome vlog. Curious what I'm doing today. A little warning for all of you today. If you have a seizure disorder, please do not watch this video because I'm trying to explain to all of you about certain type of LED light bulbs are not designed to be used with a demo and the actual do fleckle, should I say. This is why you truly need to buy the correct LED switch demo with compatible LEDs. And you're gonna say, ah, Chris, I don't want any of that stuff. I just want a light bulb that can just work with any type of demo. Not true, because you have to understand something. You need one that says compatible with incandescents, CFLs, and LEDs. But even with this type of light bulb right here, it says, ah, oh, Chris, that looks like a dimming LED. When it's truly not. It even says on the light bulb. And I'm going to read it to you. Do not use with a demo. And I'm going to explain to you why this light bulb flickers. Because of the circuitry in the demo and also in the dimming switch. It's like, you know, say, Chris, I'm just going to buy myself any LEDs. These should work on a demo, right? No, they don't. If you actually take your time and read what's actually on the package, you can actually see what it says. Right there. But alright, let's get into this experiment and show you why a demo switch is not compatible with a non dimmable LED. This is why you need a dimmable LED to be compatible with a dimming switch. Okay, I have a little experiment for all of you. Here is basically my setup of a dimming switch with a socket and with non dimmable LEDs, should I say. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean. It looks like your normal saw light bulb, and it looks like, oh, it's designed to dim. Well, it's not. Let's go ahead and show you. Well, let me go and unplug that. And we'll turn this guy off of heel. And I'll say, Chris, it looks like it's dimming. But it flickers. Okay. The reason why it flickers is because of the circuitry inside of the light bulb and the demo. Alright, let's take out this light bulb. Let's put this light bulb in here. To show you this, does the exact same. It looks like it's dimming, it's dimming. But get it to a certain point. It flickles. I don't know if the camera can see it or not, but it definitely flickles a lot. Let's go ahead and put the last bulb in. Unscrew this one. And put this one on. No, oh, in the socket, should I say. Okay, let's turn it on and see what happens. Oh, it's dimming, it's dimming! But can you see, this one flickers too. It's not a dimming LED. This is why it's important to understand when you're buying LEDs and looking for the right type of LEDs themselves and dimming switches. You're gonna say, Chris, it's only one dimming switch and one socket. You need multiple sockets to do this experiment. No, you do not. You only need one. And testing each light bulb and finding out if it's designed to be dimmable or not dimmable at all. Even with this brand name GE light bulb here, and we got a couple of generic light bulbs here. Like this is Home Living, I guess. As a generic uh, light bulb though. But even every light bulb you buy, most people do not look at the back of the light bulb itself. If the camera will actually focus. 
and it says do not use with a demo this bulb itself is not dimmable even if it has this name written on here by the favorite company you buy light bulbs from you need to understand you need a compatible LED with the compatible demo this demo should I say is a non compatible LED demo okay this is from this company okay Lutron this is a very old um, unit, should I say. Very old uh, demo. Only made for incandescence. That's why you cannot use a incandescent demo with a LED. It will not work. I think a lot of you are going to say, Chris, it doesn't matter what light bulb I buy. I want a light bulb that's designed to be dimmable. Does it matter? Well, it actually does matter because you need to understand something. It don't matter what light bulb you pick out. You need to look at the package in the switch, making sure it's compatible with incandescence, CFLs, or LEDs. If you buy the wrong type of demo and non-dimming LEDs, you're gonna say, Chris, why is my LEDs flicker? Well, you bought the wrong type of LEDs and you bought the wrong type of demo. This is why you need to look at the package before you decide to buy any type of light bulb or any type of dimming switch. Because not all demos are compatible with LEDs and not all LED light bulbs are compatible with demos. These light bulbs are only made for one output solution is full brightness. You can't dim it. Doesn't matter what you try to dim it, it won't work. It's just not designed for it. But alright, if you guys and girls are subscribing to your channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please show. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. And thank you so much for watching. And have a nice day. And please do yourself a favor. If you're going to be buying a LED, make sure it's dimmable and make sure the switch is compatible with the LEDs itself. Peace.